screen in different types of blocks with auto, AB and manual operation modes available in the flight assistant app. The following steps use the Z20 as an example to explain the specific process. Link the drone. First, turn on the remote control and make sure the communication is functional. Open the Flight Assistant app, click on Accounts, and fill in the ID and password. If you don't have an account, registration via email or phone number is allowed. After logging, go back to the Flight Assistant app, power on the Zoom, and check if Connected appears on the app. Auto mode, suitable for most types of blocks, especially those with barriers. First, apply the block. Enter the start interface in the Flight Assistant app. Choose Auto mode in the upper right corner. Then click Mark. There are three ways to edit the block. Mark by map. Mark the points on the map shown in the app. Mark by drone. Fly the drone to the block boundary and mark the points. Mark by RC. The pilot needs to take the remote control and walk to the boundary to mark the points. After selecting the marking mode, surround the planned block. Move the cursor to the suitable position and then tap dot until the points are marked. If the marking is wrong or deviates, delete or move the points using the left function bar. If there are barriers, Click edge point, switch to barrier point or circle barrier point. When setting the point, users need to surround the barriers themselves to mark the point. When setting a circle point, the barrier area will be automatically generated. Users can adjust the width or fully move the barrier area. After block planning is completed, click set block. Next, edit the road. Select the planet block in the left function bar. Click Edit Route, and the route will be automatically generated within the block in the left function bar. Set the route width, etc. Set the block's inward offset distance to prevent the liquid from falling outside the block. Rotate the left circle spot to adjust the route direction. Click the boundary point and set the start point. After setting, click save to save the remote and its parameters. Then the working parameter interface will appear. Select fixed or dynamic. Then set the parameters. Click start emptying to release the air in the pipe and then click upload road. Click start to work and check all the parameters, then slide the bar to fly the drone to the start point and operate according to the set road. AB mode. Suitable for large neat blocks without barriers first. In the flight assistant app operating interface, Select the AV mode, then select fixed or dynamic as the working mode. Set the working parameters and click start empty to release the air in the pipe. Then manually fly the drone to the start point. Click A on the app and mark point A. If the block is triangular or trapezoidal, you can adjust the angle point A and point B. Finally, fly the drone to point B and click B on the map. When the drone arrives at point B to mark it, after the points A and B are marked, the app will automatically generate the route. Click the switch button to change the direction. After checking the road, click start work and slide the bar to fly the drone and operate automatically according to the set road manual mode. Suitable for irregular areas or small plots. First, select manual mode in the flight assistant app, then set the parameters on the left work board and select either fixed, which means the nozzle will spray continuously after takeoff and pump activation or dynamic which means the nozzle will pose spring while hovering. 
Set the parameters. Click start emptying to release the air in the pipe and then fly the drone to the working area. Click to open the pump, then operate the drone to spray. Follow us to get more practical tutorials and updates.